Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I rise in support of the Brownfields Enhancement Economic De Redevelopment and Reauthorization Act of 2017. I want to thank my colleagues on the Energy and Commerce Committees, Congress Congressman McKinley and Congressman Pallone, for their bipartisan work to advance a Brownfields reauthorization bill to the floor today. And I also want to thank my friend and colleague, Congressman Katko, for his partnership in working with me to drive the momentum behind the Brownfields remediation authorization in the Transportation and Infrastructure Committee. Mr. Speaker, we are here today to pass a bill that's a win-win for our cities and towns all across America. The bill before us today increases the funding and makes important changes to EPA's Brownfields program, changes that are 15 years in the making. Since 2002, the EPA Brownfields program has been an engine for job creation and economic growth in every single congressional district across this country. We have cleaned up local eyesores and contaminated sites, putting these properties back onto the tax rolls. That's good for the economy, and it's good for the environment. In essence, Brownfields grants help us do the ultimate recycling, the recycling of land. And this bill makes important changes to make the Brownfields program work even better. It allows grants to be used for assessment. It allows grants to be used by nonprofits and for multipurpose grants. And it increases the grant limits from $200,000 to $500,000 per project. In Waterbury, Connecticut, they will now be able to use grants previously that they could not use to put valuable land back into productive use. In the cities of New Britain and Meriden, they will now be able to use federal funding for multipurpose grants. Previously, they've had to rely on state and local money to do these important transformative projects in our former industrial powerhouses across the Northeast. My district alone has 66 EPA-identified brownfield sites. And with over 450,000 remaining brownfield sites across the country, the need for more brownfields funding and for greater flexibility is manifest and important to every member of this chamber. For every acre of brownfields that is redeveloped, approximately 10 jobs are created. Let me repeat that, 10 jobs. Our voters sent us here to get things done. They want us to make our towns more beautiful and safer, and they want us to create jobs, and this bill does both. So I am very proud of the bipartisan work and, and duo committee work to bring this important bill to the floor after 15 years. So it's an opportunity for us to show to the American people that bipartisanship works and committees work when we're allowed to do our work together. So again, I want to thank my colleagues on both sides of the aisle in both committees for their wonderful work here today. It's a win for America. And again, my thanks and I yield back.